So, this is the XY table for the bath interferometer. Um, uh, and um, so this is the base piece. The first thing I want to do is remove all this plastic. You can use a uh, razor blade or uh, cutters because it's kind of sharp, especially here. This is quite sharp. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you'll get one of these, I'm not necessarily going to definitely ship one of these, but this is a quarter, quarter twenty nut, quarter inch, which works on tripods. Um, usually it snaps in perfectly, if not, you can put a little glue in there to hold it in, or if it's too tight. Um, this material, all these plastics are, are PLA, and if you just have some hot water, and you put PLA, this pink thing is also PLA. Put, put, and in hot water you'll see how, how quickly it gets soft. So you could heat the nut with a flame until water boils off of it and then stick it in. <clears throat> um, wherever you see a lock nut here, 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 and on the other end, here, and inside there underneath, um, those are places where where the hole here is the larger hole. You want to drill five thirty seconds inch hole. So five thirty seconds inch hole. So you want the, the, the threaded rod to spin freely. Um, go the other way on this. <clears throat> um, and then like for example this hole here is drilled with the smaller drill bit. You want to drill it with the 964. So here, I'll demonstrate that now. So here's an example of the nine 64 it's drilled it in here already. Just drill it out. And then I supplied you with one of these um, screws. Go ahead. And this kind of self taps it. So it's already tapped now. It's pretty hot. <laughs> it's quite hot. Um, what else? So these you want to pre-drill with the 964, so the smaller drill bit. These are going to get the larger drill bit, the 532nd. You're going to want to drill those all out before you start assembling. Um, yeah. So um, so these these brass pieces and these steel pieces, you're going to need to, um, they're too sharp. I mean, it's got this incredibly sharp thing here. You don't want to file it off. Um, it should only take a minute or two to file it down to like this. Um, you know it's filed down nicely, and you know the brass tube's ready when it slides through really nice like that. Um, the brass tubes you also have to file down, and then um, in addition to filing them, you got to you gotta spin it on this end to get the burrs on the inside. And when you get them real good, it only takes a few seconds. That's probably enough on the inside, maybe a few more seconds. Oh yeah, I already got it. And it spins freely. Um, and then, oh, I guess I got the outside and the inside of that one. So there's two down for this customer. Um, what else? These knobs. You're gonna have a locking. You can have this this nut here is gonna lock against them, so there'll be three of these nuts. Um, I also supplied you with one of these, um, which is really handy um, when you're threading these long threaded rods through. You can use an electric drill. It saves you a lot of time. Um, you also have to file down the ends of these, most likely to get them started. Oh, this one's probably never been used. So let's, um, let's get it started here. You don't want to go very tight, it's not that it's just plastic, it's not very strong. 
um, when you put it in the chuck here. So if you do that, plus put a put a um, regular nut on there. I don't see any here, but there. You'll get three. Um, now you can spin this through. Where's the, which is the one I just did? I think I did this one. You can spin this through so much faster now. Um, yeah, these are tricky to get started. <laughs> it might be good to get it started first. And I should have filed down the end. So these also need to get filed down. It should not take a whole minute. Yeah, that's better. I need the lock nut. I need a nut here. Not a lock nut, but a nut to get it to spin. Anyway, this, this little tool will save you a lot of time. Um, I think that's about it. I put one, I recommend you put one screw here. Well, I don't know. It's up to you. That's, that is for my um, interferometer here. And I can screw it down like that. Um, oh. When I built this one, I made the brass parts extra long, and then I put it together, and I added the glue last to glue it in place so that it would slide nicely. Um, but I don't, for some reason, I didn't think it was going to be necessary in the future, so hopefully um, this won't be a problem. This brass piece is just the right length to fit in here, and it's pretty tight. For some reason, when I printed this one, these, these two holes are very loose. Um, but these are going to be nice and tight, so I don't think any glue will be needed. Um, if you do need to use a, like a wrench or something, these, and you do this, it's going to deform this brass it's very soft. So you got to put a steel rod through it, which one's the file down already, this one. So you want to put the brass rod through it, then you can clamp down nice and tight, and you won't damage the uh, brass. So. Um, so I think that's it. Yeah, you might have to pull these out slightly. I don't know. I don't know if it's better to give you one that's a little too tight or one that's a little too loose. So yeah, that can be shoved in there with a hammer nicely. But to get it out again, you probably have to use this and you're going to want to put something in there so you don't damage the brass. So, that's it. That's all I can think of. This is how it's going to look when it's done. <laughs>